welcome to another exciting adventure in home bartending. This is Drinks with Danny. We are back in the Fallout Lounge with a little different content today. We are doing shooters. I was looking uh, at some different things and I was like, you know what? Two of the three I've never heard of. Um, and let's give it a shot. Literally. <laughs> so, with that in mind, we are doing three uh, shooters. What you have here is everything to make your shooters. Uh, a coffee liqueur I just bought, the Mr. Black, which is a coffee liqueur. Um, supposed to be really good stuff. We're going to try it out. You got your Midori. You got your Bailey's Irish Cream, which I'm actually going with some of this uh, Buffalo Trace Bourbon Cream. Uh, I honestly I'm almost out of this stuff because it is amazing if you can get your hands on it but you can use any kind of uh, Irish cream or anything of that sort your Cointreau or triple sec and then absent this one might be a little bit hard for some people if you get it you get it uh, I believe this is for yeah uh, also one of the ones I've never heard of we're gonna try but uh, the picture I saw was green so we are using some green absinthe um, let's get into this I'm actually excited for this one never done the uh, a shooters one yet figured let's get this one out of the way three three shots shouldn't be too bad I should still be good afterwards so with that in mind let's try these ones <coughs> excuse me all right yeah I, I love these glasses they're little beer mugs or beer steins or I like them. so we're gonna go ahead and put these shots in here and we're gonna go ahead and see how this goes so uh, the first one is going to be the Irish frog which is going to be some Midori and Bailey's or bourbon cream so when you're doing these kinds of shooters I'm gonna try this it takes a lot of practice to get these things looking good and layered best way to layer it is to use a bar spoon and kind of just put it right on the edge of the glass and pour it on there and hopefully it layers we'll see how this uh, actually works so again for the first one the Irish frog obviously two alcohol so we're just gonna go half and half so the first there it is and now the fun part and this is again adventures in home bartending so if you know you just gotta try it keep it up uh, eventually you'll maybe get it if not this is why i created this channel because not everything you see is going to be amazing so very very slowly if i there, there ah yes and that is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Looks nothing like the picture. But there it is, Irish frog of sorts. So the next one is going to be a B-52, which we need again, well, again, we need now our coffee liqueur we're gonna open this bottle up and see how this mr. black actually is Ooh, holy <laughs> wow I gotta try this 
I have got to try this one. This one we're putting in here, cup. Uh, this is the first coffee liqueur. That that is honestly the first thing you you smell. That is full coffee. Wow. All right. Cheers. Oh my goodness. The hype is real. Mr. Black, um, wow. That is a full, wow. That's like I just had a cup of coffee. That little shot, I like that. Wow, that is good. You guys gotta try this. If you can find this Mr. Black, seriously, give this one a shot. Uh, so, this is three. We're going to do coffee liqueur. We're doing this one and quantro. So, three, since we're doing three, uh, we're doing one third, one third, one third. And we're starting off with the coffee liqueur. So, let us. I think I just need to buy another bottle. This just takes way too long and I'm super nervous about doing it. Again, like I said, this is just something literal practice makes perfect. And look at that, it's already all over the place. And I thought I was pretty careful with that one. That one actually is not too bad. We kind of got separation, but not. It is what it is. Alright, and so the last one is the Quantro to finish this one up. And again, let us attempt to layer this. And okay, okay, we might we might be on to something with this one. Hey, hey, hey. all right. So we got the, that top layer layered. You know what? That's actually, that's not too bad. I think that's a pretty good layering, if I say so myself. So there we have it, the B-52. And now the final one is going to be a B-55, which is our Again, three, we got our coffee liqueur, our, uh, no, our bourbon cream, and some absinthe on this one. So, let's go, well, let's put the cap on that one, and this one's done, so we put the cap on that. So, coffee liqueur, one third. Ooh, easy. Right. And then our, here we go again. So, we're going to get this. We will get this. Maybe bring it down lower, close to that line. Maybe that's what we need. I guess there's science behind this to where different liqueurs have different weights to it. So, it definitely, that one definitely does not look like the picture. This one kind of does, except that top is a little cloudy. Okay, you know what? I think we got that. We're 
getting it. We are definitely getting it. So now let's see. This last part is the absinthe. And let us see if we can balance this to give it a that green top layer for a B55. Oh, 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 I think we did it. I think we did it. All right, so these two are looking good. This one, mm, not so much. You know what? Let us retry that one more time with what we've learned. So let's do that again. Midori, half. Bailey's. And let's so I think if we went lower with it right to okay. right to the fill line we might be able to do this. wondering if we went the Baileys on the bottom. No. Alright, so we're doing two Irish frogs. A B-52 and a B-54. Now the fun thing with the B-50 What is this? Ah, Dory. Uh, the B-54 with the absinthe. We get to light this one on fire. Nope. You, this one's for you. There we go. And one second. Almost forgot the lighter. So we'll go ahead and do this one last and then light it uh, after we get there. So we got our Irish frog, which is half Midori. Half Bailey's. Let's go ahead and go for the somewhat better looking version. Cheers. Oh man. Oh, that's good. Oh, I love the Midori. Yeah, that melon uh, really comes through. Very creamy. I like that. I like that one. All right. So, definitely one I would uh, try again. The B-52. Let's go ahead and bomb this one, huh? Oh, my goodness. Super creamy. That orange just really is coming through. You get the coffee back notes on that one. Oh, Mr. Black, I'm gonna have fun with you and some cocktails. Mm. Yeah, that one's good. I wanna, uh, I'm not gonna say I would enjoy it multiple times. However, it's definitely interesting. I like it though. All right, so now, the B-55. Now again, it is going to catch fire because we're using absinthe, which is over 50% uh, ABV. Anything over 50 it is going to catch fire. Oh, this one's actually only 50. Wow, there are some absinths out there that are a lot more volatile, like, uh, like this Lucid. Lucid is uh, 62 
percent. So this will definitely catch fire. So let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Okay, I mean it's there. Hey, there we go. Oh, that is a beautiful blue flame. I like that. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. But that is a nice blue flame. Alright, the final shot. Cheers. Hoo-hoo. Mm. Besides the blowing it out, spilling it all over the place. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's that's lethal. <laughs> that one will definitely mess you up. Ooh, man. Okay. Uh, B55. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> that one, I mean, it's fun to try. Oh, but if unless you're in college, yeah, that one is definitely <laughs> no for me. So we'll try to chase that back with the original Irish frog. And there it is. Mm. See, that one's just smooth. That one is really smooth. I honestly, I think that one is my favorite. Yeah. Definitely the Irish frog. So, so there you have it. Uh, three shooters you guys can try out. A couple of bottles. You guys are there. Um, definitely that Irish frog. I think that one's going to be uh, going into my list of the favorites. So, all right. And uh, you learned about the uh, layering. It is really, I think. It's just going to take uh, time, trial and error, but that's why we have home bartending and it doesn't really matter what it looks like at the end. It's all about that taste and the trials that go through it. So, appreciate you guys following me, watching this. If you like what I do, give it a thumbs up. Share it to other people that might enjoy learning about new cocktails and home bartending and... Um, definitely subscribe let me know how i'm doing in the comments and i will catch you on the next adventure